What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sky Bees. Oh, yeah, guys. Last episode, we made ourselves a mob farm. Yeah, and this has been working pretty well ever since. I've been kind of watching it and hanging out in the world and collecting things, and we're getting so much rotten flesh and so many bones, and there's really not a lot of good ways to store them. So I made a couple drawers here to store those things, but we are getting all sorts of crazy stuff from these mob drops. Um, some of the arrows I've just gone ahead and got rid of because we don't really have a huge use for arrows, but we're getting like all sorts of different bows, right? Some are enchanted, nothing real crazy. This one right here is called energetic bow, and it's got a different icon that says 1.05. I don't know if that's arrow velocity or whatever. Uh, we got ourselves a crossbow of the quick draw of late magic of dark magic. <laughs> it's quite the name. It's a mythic item, says this item's enchantability is increased. The arrows deal magic damage, and the crossbow is unbreakable. That's pretty awesome. Reinforced ironclad diamond leggings of latent magic. Yeah, so this has got a lot more durability, or I'm sorry, not durability, uh, armor and armor toughness. And you can enchant it better. So, like, we're getting all sorts of crazy different things. We even got ourselves a turtle shell helmet that's got a lot of uh, armor, and it looks like extra health on there, too, right? Plus 3.49 hearts. Right on. So yeah, we're getting lots of crazy things. Even a netherite pickaxe, which is cool. We got an iron pickaxe. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're getting lots of things here. So I'm just going to be letting the uh, mob farm go for a while. I thought I was going to turn it off because we didn't really need it after we got ourselves the under pearls. But now that I know that we're getting like all sorts of crazy rare drops and like netherite pickaxes and stuff from mobs, I feel like we should just let it continue on and do its thing. All right, so today I wanted to do a few things. Uh, one of those things is I wanted to make an item collector. We've been talking about that for a while now, ever since we set up our automation in this fashion here, where the combs pop out and sometimes they get out of the glass and they just despawn, they don't get collected. Yeah, we want to make an item collector so we can collect all of those combs and make sure they go and get stored properly, right? Okay, but in order to make an item collector, whoops, Item collector, if I can type, apparently I can't today. Um, we are going to need obsidian. So you can make obsidian fairly easily with X Nihilo. If we go to here, yeah, we just place water on top of a stone barrel. I don't know if you can do it in wood. It says you can, but I think it has to be stone. Anyway, you put water on top of it, you pipe lava in, and then you can like hop or obsidian out, right? Or pipe it out or whatever. Um, so this is a pretty good way of doing that, but, uh, I would like to automate this. I would like to automate our lava production and make enough lava where we can make obsidian at a decent speed. Okay. So this is going to be our first task for today. All right. So quickly, I'm just going through making some mental notes of the things that we want. So the item collector needs obsidian. We make that in a stone barrel, which requires lava, which we make in a fire crucible, which needs a heat source. And we have discovered block of uranium is the best. It's a 5x heat source. Uh, in order to make the fire crucible, we need the unfired, which means we need a bunch of porcelain clay, 7 per crucible. Let's do something like, I don't know, 10 crucibles. Is that going to be enough? Maybe we want more than that. But let's start with like 10 of those. I think we already have one, so we only have to make 9 more, right? So we're going to need some porcelain clay, uh, 7 of those times 9, so 7 blocks essentially. Um of uh, bone meal and clay ball makes that stuff. But I guess it'd be more than seven because each one of these uh, makes four. Anyway, math is hard. Let's just make a bunch of it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna try and get the exact amount. Uh, let's just grab this stuff. We'll do this, that, and this. All right, that should be pretty close to what we need. What do we got here? So there's nine, perfect. All right, so we have a little bit extra. I, I don't know if we're going to make more or not, but if we need to make more, all of that stuff's like super easy to make. So who cares? All right. So let's do some charcoal here. I'll just split these. Something like that. That'll be fine. And we will get these fired. And then we need to get ourselves some of the uranium blocks. We need one block per crucible, right? And we already have one and the recipe to make the uranium block this is what we're going to be doing here with the uranium ingots around a uranium dust. 
Uh, I tried doing this recipe here, but there's a mod in this mod pack. If you put in a different type of uranium into your inventory, like one of these, it'll automatically convert into one of these and you can't do this recipe. So you kind of have to do the dust version. So in order to make the dust, we saw you just take the uranium ore plus the engineer's hammer, you get one dust. So that should be pretty easy. We just need to get ourselves nine of those plus the hammer and craft them together. Boop. Awesome. Okay. So now that we have that done, we do need to get ourselves enough of the uranium, the uh, smelted, which it doesn't look like we have any. Okay. Uh, so we need nine of those, which is gonna be that much. Okay. So I'll go ahead and get that smelted up and we'll be back. All right. So I did find the other 20 smelted uranium in the chest. <laughs> so I didn't smelt that extra, but I got everything laid out here basically. Um, so we have our uranium blocks down here. We have it five long, two wide. So we have 10, we have our fire crucibles on top of that. And I just moved our cobblestone generator over here. I haven't really changed anything. So I still got the cobble with the hopper going into the drawer. Uh, we have this item cable that will be going into the top, feeding in cobblestone into these crucibles, which should turn it into lava thanks to the uranium. And then I just put up some of the fluid cables around here and I haven't done anything beyond that. So we should be able to put a stone barrel here. We're gonna need water on top and then we're gonna need a way to extract out uh, the obsidian into another chest or drawer or whatever. Okay, I think that should be fine. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, right click. Is that right clicked? I think, I think that little white mark down there is really hard to see. I think we're good there. Uh, we need to right click that. We need to right click basically all of these pipes. It's really hard to do. So that, that, that sets them all into extract mode. And then we'll do it on these. Very good. All of these need to be left alone and then that will be into extract mode. So we should be making lava now and filling this up full of lava. That looks fine. Yeah, we got cobble in all of these guys and they're all melting. Heat five, that looks good. Yeah, so that's going pretty, pretty okay. It's not like super fast, but it's like way faster than it would have been if we're just doing one at a time, right? <laughs> one crucible. So, Hmm, I was expecting this to go a little bit faster, actually. I wonder if these cables are kind of bottlenecked. Hmm, I wonder if I put more cables here or something, would that make it go faster? Is that going faster? I'm, I can't tell. I'll have to play around with this a little bit. Well, anyway, we need to get water on top of that and we need to make it so the water doesn't flow everywhere. So we could just place some solid blocks around the top or we could make it a little bit thinner and use chisel and bits. Do I still have a chisel in here? I do. Uh, we can do that and just grab, I don't know, it doesn't really matter what block, how about stone? Yeah, and then we can uh, put like a smaller version of stone blocks around. Always get confused when I go down that thing still. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do this. So we'll place a block right on top of it. Like so, we'll take off a layer. Did I get the blocks? Why is it not working? Oh, will it not do that if I'm standing on it? There's something wrong here. Okay, this block is broken. I guess we're gonna use cobblestone. <laughs> will that work? Um, plane. Click, right click, left click, not working. Okay, well there is something wrong. Maybe it doesn't work if it's on top of that block. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Looks like this is broken all the way around for some reason. Well, I was gonna make this look a little bit nicer, but for whatever reason, that chisel and bit chisel just does not work. So we're gonna go with dirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried making a new chisel. I tried it on crafting tables. I tried it on dirt blocks. It just wouldn't chisel for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Well, anyway, here we go. So we put water on top of this. It should turn that into obsidian, and I think it did. And we have four obsidian, so that went pretty quickly here. So that's great. Yeah, so uh, we got enough obsidian now to make one item collector. Uh, so we have ender pearl and then four of these obsidian to make one basic item collector. If we want to get the advanced one, that's three more obsidian. And then we need an eye of ender, which we can make no problem. So our bottleneck right now is just getting the lava out of this. Hmm. 
something. Well, it doesn't look like any of these have like any lava retained in them. So that was my main concern. It seemed like these things are going a little slow before uh, trying to put the lava into here, but I guess it's going as fast as it goes. So the only thing I can think of that we can do now is to scale this up and add in more of these if we want to make lava that much faster. All right, so I've doubled it up and we now have 20 lava generators going here, making ourselves lava. It's going decently fast. I don't think I want to go too much faster than this, honestly. Uh, there are obsidian bees, which we could make and get all set up, but that's just going to take a really long time to get to this point for us to make obsidian from these things. Their combs do yield one obsidian per, right? So that's pretty cool. When we get those, that'll we'll probably tear this all down. That'll be uh, the way that we go moving forward. But for right now, passively just getting obsidian through all this stuff, that's not, not bad. I like it. Okay, so let's grab the obsidian. There we go. Ice bucket challenge. Task complete, complete 10 obsidian. Oh, you know what? That also will allow us to go to the nether too. I didn't even think about that, huh? That was what that quest is for. Interesting. Well, anyway. Uh, we wanted, oh, I did make, uh, two more cobblestone generators, by the way. Yeah, so we have three cobblestone generators in the back. For whatever reason, as we were extracting the cobblestone, this thing was full, and now it's all gone. So I don't know what happened to all of the cobblestone, but I felt like, yeah, we should go ahead and triple this up, just to make sure that we're making enough, and it looks like all of these things are staying full. So I don't know where all that extra cobblestone's going. Maybe each one of these pipes has, like, an internal buffer or something. Anyway. Uh, we should be making enough and <laughs> we have extra cobblestone generators should we need them. Yeah, and that's where the cobblestone generator came from. But anyway, getting back to what we were trying to do here, uh, we were going to make this basic item collector, right? And then we want to upgrade it to the advanced tier. So we need ender pearls plus obsidian. So I have made a whole bunch of ender pearls. We got plenty of ender pearls now, which is fantastic. So ender pearls, obsidian, I think we're good. And then we're gonna need some blaze powder uh, in order to make it the advanced one, which I definitely wanna make advanced because it's advanced, why wouldn't you wanna make that? So let's make, I don't wanna do this many. Let's do five. We'll do five of those for now and then we will upgrade those to the advanced item collector. Oh, I need to make the pearls first. So five of those, or eyes of ender, not pearls. Uh, so there we go. There's the advanced item collector. So if we place this down, does this give us like, oh, okay. So we can right click and then we get this thing. We can do an 11 by 11 by 11 on it. This says can pick up items up to seven blocks away. But this says we can do 11 by 11. Oh, I misunderstood that. Okay. So that is a seven block radius, not diameter. Okay. So this can actually pick up items in a 15 by 15 by 15 area. Goodness. Okay, maybe five of those is a little excessive then. And this can go down to a little less three by three by three. Interesting. Okay, very cool. Well, we got these now. Uh, we won't have to make them for a little while. So hopefully that'll solve our problem over here with the combs. Now, to get this to work with our drawer collection system that we have down below, we're gonna have to make a few changes here. So I want all the combs to go into these drawers, but we want to make all the drawers one network, Ooh, <laughs> which means they have to be connected by drawers or they have to be connected by trim. Um, so trim, do I, I guess I should just search for trim. Yeah, so like oak trim acts as like a connecting block between drawers, but it doesn't actually have an inventory. So that way you can kind of space them out or whatever. Um, all right, so trim is pretty inexpensive. Four of those for four sticks and five planks. And then we need one, two, three, four. Okay, so just one recipe will do it. And then we're gonna need a way to get the items uh, into those drawers. So we're gonna have to make ourselves, I think the controller is what it's called. It's been a minute since I last made one of those. So there is four of those, five of these. We'll make this real quick awesome uh and then we need to make ourselves a drawer controller yes this guy okay so that requires some stone a diamond a drawer and two comparators 
All right, so drawer controller has been made. We got ourselves our oak trim, so we should now be able to come down here and get rid of this other item collection stuff that we've been doing. Let's just pop all of these off there. All right, I guess, should I get rid of that first? I can't really reach those minecarts, but yeah, we want to get rid of this stuff. Like the minecart, it was fine and everything. It worked, it did its thing. The hopper, hopping minecart, hopper minecart. But yeah, we can recover that, get rid of all of that stuff now. Give me all those and all this stuff. All right, very good. Oh, one rail over here. All right, so do I have everything? You got five minecarts, 10 hoppers, cool. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So now we can place these between. And that right there, very good. Then we just need to put a drawer controller somewhere. Hmm, I need to stack up. Let's use honeycomb. Why not? All right. Controller. And then we can put the item collector. And we'll just bump up this range. And then Y value, I think five blocks up is enough? You know, let's just go ahead and go max. Why not? No tool for these. All right, very good. So that is our, well, I guess I could center that more, but that is basically our item collection now, which is great. Um, yeah, so if we go upstairs and we take a look, there should be no combs up there anymore. If any pop out, they should get collected. I guess we could test that. Oh, I actually have a comb in my inventory. So if I place that, it's gone. This one, it's gone. So that's collecting these real, real fast. I like it. <laughs> this is going to make things so much better for being more efficient at collecting stuff. And with how fast that item collector is, we might not even see the combs pop out of these hives anymore when the bees leave them. Yeah, it seems like it was instantly collecting, which is great. All right, so now that we got all of this stuff set up, the next thing that we need to do is start working on processing combs. You can see here that we have combs just sitting on the ground, even though we have item collectors. Well, why is that? Well, we are full on our storage for those combs. So what I would like to do is start working on getting ourselves. Do we have a new sheep over here? We have a new sheep over here. I saw it on the mini map. Uh, what we need to do is get ourselves like something along this line set up downstairs. I would like a, well, I guess a centrifuge for each of the different hives that we're processing. So that's gonna be a lot of centrifuges that we're gonna have to make, and then we're gonna have to power it. So one of these thermal generator basics was able to power just under three. It can power two solidly. I don't know if two of these can power five, or if it is three of those that can power seven. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to do a whole lot of crafting here. So the centrifuges, these guys, I don't remember what those cost. So it's a piston, some smooth stone, some iron in a bucket per. That's really not that big of a deal. We can make that no problem. Let's go ahead and bookmark that. And then we're going to need, what are these things called again? These are thermo generator. Yeah, so we have to make the basic one in order to make this guy. And then that requires a whole bunch of this stuff redstone dust blaze powder these basic capacitor things which is dielectric paste which we had to get into batania a little bit for put charcoal or coal into the mana pool to get that so we have plenty of that ready to go more redstone more iron for all of that stuff okay so we got a little bit of crafting to do and by we i mean me off camera so i'm gonna go ahead and get to it so I got a little bit of this laid out now. So we have a centrifuge under each, underneath each one of these drawers that contains combs that we want to centrifuge, right? Uh, we don't want to centrifuge the regular vanilla ones. We want to turn these into the blocks so we can use those for crafting or whatever. Anyway, so we have all of this ready to go. So the next thing is we need to start putting in some item cables here to grab the combs and put it into these guys. I think we can just do that. Is that going into the right spot? It is, okay, I was just making sure it didn't have to go into the side or something. Okay, we are good to go there. I did make some energy cables, so these are something we haven't made before. So that is stone brick stairs plus some redstone dust. Not too bad, in fact, it's way cheaper than the other cables. And then we have this set up over here, which I made a new sink. 
We need to put water into these and the lava underneath boils the water which produces power. I guess is how that's supposed to work. Anyway, uh, fluid keeble. So we just do this, this, that, and one of those. And now we have fire. Hm. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why there's fire there, but that doesn't really matter. But yes, we are creating power and that is the important thing. Very good. So now that we have that going on, we can take the energy being produced out of both of these guys and connect it over into this, right? So that, that, and this. So now we should be centrifuging all of these guys. They are all collecting power and there should be enough power to run all of these guys if everything is done correctly here. This one seems to be struggling a little bit. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's gaining a little bit. Maybe. Hmm. This should be set up the same way we have upstairs. And it seemed like two of the centrifuges was fine. So I'm not sure why that guy is not getting power. Interesting. I'll have to figure that one out. Well, anyway, uh, this is going correctly. I might have to add a third one here. Maybe you can't quite do two of these off one of those like I thought you could. I mean, this is kind of looking like it. <laughs> Anyway, so the next thing we need to do is take the resulting resources out of here and put that somewhere else. Oh, this isn't going. Oh, that's right. That's not going because we don't have enough power. Okay. Yes. So let's go ahead and get some drawers, get those connected, and then all the resulting items should end up in a better place. Getting this stuff automated is fantastic. I'm not sure why the gravel centrifuge back here was struggling, but uh, it's now fine. We are making enough power. I was looking, it looks like each one of these energy keybles does actually have its own power storage inside of it. Mm hmm. So it was probably charging up these keybles before it came down this way. But yeah, our uh, centrifuge here for the gravel honeycomb is actually working now, which is great. So yeah, all four of these different combs are processing and all the resulting items are over here. So we have 50 pearls, 96 beeswax, some gravel, sand, and dust. Yep, so that looks great. Now, the only thing that I wanna change here is our beeswax storage. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll go ahead and I gotta clear this out. I wanna change this for a compacting drawer. So that is gonna be what we do. So we'll get rid of that and then, yes, we'll place that here. Put the beeswax in there. Do one of these numbers. And there we go. So that will hold a heck of a lot more beeswax and will automatically convert it into the block so we don't have to go and do that manually. But yeah, if we need beeswax, we can grab it from here. If we need the blocks, we can grab it from there. And then everything else is great. I don't know, is there compacting gravel? Is there compacted gravel, I guess, is what I should say. Uh, there might be, let's take a look real quick. And it doesn't look like that. Some packs have it, some packs don't, where you can put nine gravel together and get a compressed gravel, but it doesn't look like that is in this particular pack. If it was, I would go ahead and do that for these three resources over here. But otherwise, these drawers will hold like 2,000 of each of these. Um, we probably are gonna wanna get some storage upgrades for those. I do have storage upgrades in some of these over here. Uh, yeah. So like the gravel honeycomb has storage upgrade in it. I'll probably end up taking the storage upgrades out of these and putting them over into the resulting resources over here. I think that just makes more sense because if we're constantly processing, we probably aren't gonna be getting extra of those, or at least I wouldn't think so, although this drawer right here is still full. So we'll see, maybe, maybe a centrifuge just doesn't go fast enough to keep up with how fast the bees are working. Well, that'll be something that we'll have to look at in the future. But anyway, for today, that's it. That's all we got. Finally got all this stuff automated, or at least partially automated, mostly automated. Yeah, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.